Hi, I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats here at the Canadian Academy of Cinema and Television in downtown Toronto. Every year they put on such an amazing awards ceremony which used to be known as the Geminis or the Genies and has now been renamed to the Canadian Screen Awards. This year we're having our 65th annual awards ceremonies and I'm here to find out who the people are that work behind the scenes. Here with Assistant Communications, Krista Boniface. Tell me a little bit about the day-to-day -day office environment here at the Academy. It's definitely a tight-knit environment. Um, there's only a few of us that work here. There's a bigger team a little bit around the Canadian Screen Awards. And as a young person, there's so much bustle. There's always things being announced. I mean, we just announced all of the talent that are going to be presenting mm -hmm. at the Canadian Screen Awards. We have talent that we're announcing for Fan Zone. So it's really busy, and I, I just love it. Great. And as all of these exciting things come out, tell me a little bit about what you're doing on the communication side to communicate to the world that they're all happening. All right, so I work with the communications team to put out the press releases mm -hmm. and also make sure that the public knows about this via our social media channels. So we do things like, you know, shouting out to the trivia of who's going to be coming to the Screen Awards. Um, we talk about the different stars that have been nominated um, and just really trying to engage with the public and getting people to know who these stars are because there's so many in Canada and the more that we can pump that out, the better. Cool. Are there any stars in particular that you got really excited about when you heard that they would be presenting? Well, uh, there's still more to be announced for the presenters. I'm really excited that Amber Marshall will be coming mm -hmm. um, and Zoe Palmer, who is from Lost Girl. Mm -hmm. I know there's a huge, huge buzz around her for social media, so it's great that the public knows that she's coming. Mm -hmm. um, Amber Marshall won the Fan Choice Award last year, so we'll see what the races are like this year. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, voting is still open for that, so we'll see. Cool. And do you find that there's a lot of online interaction, a lot of excitement happen happening right now because the awards are coming up so soon? People are starting to ask, you know, when are, when can we tune in? And we say, okay, 8, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 8.30 NT. So really trying to get that information out, making sure that they tune into CBC on March 9th, mm -hmm. um, and just making sure that the public know about what they can come out to. Um, so the fan zone is open to everyone. So the Eaton Center is a huge center of action on a regular day of shopping but when all these stars come for it it's going to be really great for everyone. Cool. And tell me a little bit about your interest in film and sort of how that developed. I know you went to Wilfrid Laurier University for film studies and communications but how you sort of transitioned uh, from going to school and then into working here. Well, I've always been interested in film and film festivals and just event programming in general. Mm -hmm. um, and when this opportunity came up and I knew that I could move to Toronto and work for an organization that's really building up the star system here, it was an opportunity that I couldn't, you know, give up. So Great. Yeah. And you're also very involved in the Grand River Film Festival as well. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about what we can expect from that this year? So I'm part of the programming committee again for the Grand River Film Festival out of Kitchener, Waterloo, Cambridge. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a small and growing film festival, which Katie actually covered uh, last year. So that's Ooh. really, really great. <laughs> yeah. um, and we're getting our films lined up for next year already. Uh, it's going to look like a really spectacular year and uh, hopefully lots of people can come to it. Great. And how do you feel about Martin Short coming back as the host again? Oh, I'm so excited. If you <laughs> watched him last year as he was the bagpipe man, yeah. you know, that was just so funny. And I'm really hoping that he'll dress up as Mary Pickford. That would just be awesome for the 65th. I don't know. Maybe the writers have that in the works. Who knows? <laughs> and where is the best place for us to find out more information on the awards and the Academy and to follow you guys online? Well, definitely check out academy.ca. It's a brand new website, lots to look out, uh, especially our galleries. There's pictures spanning from this year all the way back to the early film awards, so um, tons to look at there. Um, as well as on Twitter, you can follow us at, at academy underscore net. We also have Instagram and uh, Facebook, too. Well, thank you so much. It was great seeing you again, and best of luck with the awards. Thanks so much, Katie. Thanks. <laughs> I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto. Be sure to tune into the CBC on March 9th at 8 p.m. to catch the Canadian Screen Awards, hosted by Canada's very own Martin Short.
short.